The gadget is back in Okay guys, so we're out here at our flight location. Um, now we're not going to the place where I actually set the flight plan up uh, that you saw. I'm in another spot. It's closer to home. Uh, today is the day of the uh, solar eclipse. Uh, what is it? August 21st, right? Uh, so I didn't want to go too far today. Uh, I want to see if I can uh, catch that uh, with the fam. So I'm at another location which I think is going to be actually a little better for this flight plan because we have a point of interest. Uh, to focus on so that's what we're gonna do and then I also wanted to uh, talk about my backpack that I found out on Amazon now here's the story <laughs> Parrot has a branded uh, backpack that um, is listed on Amazon and I have been trying to purchase it since April that's right April of this year place the order it supposedly takes two to four weeks to ship I am a prime customer but for some reason, it just never worked. I contacted customer service and they would retry it. We did that three times. Finally, I said, you know what, let me see. The first time I checked, there weren't any other viable options. I checked again and I found this one. It's a hard case. Uh, it's waterproof. Uh, and it was cheaper. I think this one, I can't remember the price, but I'll put it up uh, on the screen so you can see it. It's really, really nice. Padded in the back here. Uh, you've got these straps here okay very very nice backpack see that very well made and let's show you the inside how it sets up in here okay so you've got this here for um, keeping some stuff I've got my OTG drive in there and I forget what else I have over here oh I think I have like my cables and stuff over there and then this is how it sets up see very nice, very compact. There's the drone. Go ahead and pull them out. And it holds the uh, uh, cockpit glass. It holds one, two, three batteries. And there is the sky controller, too. Extra props go there. I haven't put those in yet, uh, but I will. But yeah, so um, it gets my recommendation for sure and I believe it is cheaper than the Parrot branded backpack. Parrot did release a new um, package uh, or bundle which it, uh, comes with a, a backpack. It's a little bit different than the, um, the original. Um, so and I kinda wish I had uh, gotten that package, that bundle, but uh, nonetheless I'm, I'm very happy with what I have here. Okay so we're gonna get everything set up. Uh, I am gonna try to film. I've got my um, sunshade here um, so you guys can see the screen and see the progression uh, on the screen of my phone. Um, very, very hazy today. Very hazy um, and hot today. Uh, so uh, good day to fly nonetheless. Not sure what those birds are doing up there. I don't know if you can see them. They're just kind of circling. <laughs> Not sure what that's about. But uh, we'll probably be a bit higher than them. Uh, I'm going to be going up at least 100, 120 to 150 feet, uh, on up to 200 feet uh, today. Okay guys, so here we are. Uh, we are getting ready to do about an 11 minute flight. We have a uh, full battery on the quad. We're at about 97%, uh, 85% on the controller. And we are ready to launch. We're going to go ahead and hit play here. Hopefully this is coming through. It is quite bright. I do have the sunshade here. Um, but let's go ahead and launch. Now or never. And we're going to go ahead over here and push play. And the quad is launching. And it's going ahead and starting its flight plan. And we should see it back here in 11 minutes. And I don't know if you can see there, there's a um, video uh, preview there, right there. It shows you what the drone is seeing, which is cool. Uh, but as you can see, there's a, a drone icon there, which is showing you the path it's taking and where it is along the flight plan 
and we've got visual um, on the drone and there it is going through its progression very nice and I'll go ahead and speed up the video in spots here so that it's not too long Uh, just a nice day here of uh, automated flight with the Parrot Bebop 2. We did do a flat trim and a calibration as always. I do that every flight. Very, very quick and easy to do. Okay, right now we can see the quad has picked up speed. I believe I uh, increased the speed up to 25 feet per second at this point. Just to make the flight uh, a little bit more dynamic. And we are recording video. Um, now there won't be any pictures. I didn't set it up to take any pictures. I could have done that. Um, I'll maybe try that in, in one of my uh, next flight plans. Still have visual on the uh, on the plot. And we are two minutes and ten seconds into the flight. Just letting it do its thing today. Still have visual, it's making a turn there, nice smooth turn. This is the longest flight plan that I have done th thus far, uh, but with the 25 minute flight time, should accomplish this with without any trouble at all. Still have visual. Technology is amazing, it's just, it's just amazing in my opinion. So hopefully we can still see, uh-oh, I we have to pan over so we can see where it is now. There it is. Sorry about that. Bring it up so we can see where it is and what it's doing. And it's doing its point of interest here. Four minutes in, and we have another seven minutes or so. Let's go ahead and see what the drone is seeing here. And we're about 2,600 feet away, so about a half a mile. And notice how you can switch back between views, which is excellent. Sorry about the glare coming off, but uh, about the best I can do. I really wish uh, Apple would allow us to uh, record, record our screens. That would make this so much easier. And what I'm looking forward to, mo to most is the point of interest we have over here. So once the quad makes its way over, it should be pretty cool. Six, six minutes in. And I think I slowed it down pretty good out there. There's a little river out there that I wanted to get some shots of. So hopefully I set this up okay. Now remember this is trial and error. You know, you uh, I'm going to probably fly this flight plan multiple times uh, and uh, you know if, if something doesn't look the way you quite want it, you can try it again. That's the beauty of it. You can tweak some things and then go right back at it. Here's another cool thing about flight plans. So here in the uh, in the north northern states, we get uh, we have seasons. So we have a, a real spring, a real summer, a fall, and winter. I think it's really cool that you can set up a flight plan and fly a location in the various seasons and show uh, how different it looks. So I'm looking forward to coming back and doing this in the fall. Trees start to change color; it looks really, really pretty. And then it's also a unique look uh, to fly locations in the winter as well to show the area covered in snow. Okay, 
So we're at 7 minutes 30 seconds, so we've still got about three and a half minutes to go. We should start to see the uh, quad come back towards us. I believe is what it's doing now. Yep, making its way back. And it should start to pick up speed pretty good uh, on this straightaway. Nice little pair of Bebop 2. Yes, we're making our way back. We're at about 1,700 feet now. Let's see what our bird is seeing here. Looks like it's doing a nice smooth pan there. Excellent. Making its way on back. 1,400 feet now. And we're just about at 9 minutes of flight time. So we're almost at the end of our flight. start uh, seeing it make its way around our uh, point of interest here. One of them, one of our points of interest on this flight today. There it is, I have visual. <laughs> it is making its way around our point of interest now. There you go, as you can see. There's our point of interest. And it is doing an orbit right now. It should uh, come on back our way and prepare for landing. <clears throat> there it is. And we have a visual on the bird. And now I'm going to have my hands ready on the controllers, just in case I need to make any adjustments. Shouldn't, but uh, just in case. Still focusing on our point of interest while it's uh, coming in for the landing. Okay, there we go. And let's see where where it lands. Should be in the exact spot that it took off from. And this is what the um, what you're going to get when you close the loop. Excellent. Okay. I'd say that was a successful flight. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get everything packed up, uh, get the quad shut down, go home. Take a look at our um, <laughs> at our um, our video. Uh, see what kind of shots we got, and I'll uh, put the put together the uh, video for you guys. Uh, I won't make it too long, but um, this was a lot of fun. This is really really cool. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be doing quite a bit more of this uh, as I get more comfortable. I'll be trying more, um, I guess, adventurous type shots. Maybe taking some photos along the way, doing some some 360s and more more panning of the camera um, so but I just wanted to uh, show you guys what you could do and um, thanks for watching